G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. All right, I hope wherever you're watching from, you're having a great, great day today. Happy Sunday, wherever you're watching from. Um, I have some exciting new drink to try. So you guys have been actually messaging me about this and leaving comments. Hey, have you tried the new Pepsi Max? Uh, Pepsi Cola Soda Shop Creaming Soda Cola and I thought yum but I was obviously unwell the last couple of weeks so I wasn't able to get to the shops and grab some and try some um, but now that I'm feeling better I went to my local shops and I found a bottle now this is a huge bottle this is a 1.25 liter so this isn't an individual drink this is a share drink <laughs> um but you know I was really excited to grab some so hopefully I like it so then you know a uh, few others in my household can try this as well and consume it because otherwise it's a lot of drink going to waste. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. This also came out, I think, in a vanilla flavor, but I don't really love artificial vanilla flavor. Um, I love natural vanilla bean, bean flavor. Um, but yeah, I thought, give this a go. I've heard some, you know, some saying it's great, some saying it's not. So... We'll give it a go. I'm gonna give it a smell test first. Oh yeah, it smells good. It smells very um, creamy and soda-ish. <laughs> so there's no color difference. The color is the normal Pepsi, uh, Pepsi Max kind of color. And I've just spilt some, so I'm just gonna grab something to fix. All right, now that that's cleaned off, I'm gonna give this a taste. Now I can smell this from here, from where I, like <laughs> it's quite um, strong, the smell, but the smell isn't overly strong. I, I don't know how, I know I'm kind of contradicting myself, but anyway, let's just give it a taste and see if I like it. So Pepsi Max Cream in Soda. Hmm. Hmm. I can't say I love it, but I can't say I hate it. Um, I know that's kind of a weak response, but hmm. For me, it still tastes like vanilla. I, I don't know. I'm still a bit. Let me have another go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, oh, this is why I'm not a food uh, critic because. Yeah, <laughs> would be not an appropriate response. So yeah, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Would I buy it again? No. But if someone went here, drink this, would I drink it? Yes. But yeah, I don't think I love it. Uh, definitely nowhere near the, just the normal Pepsi Max. And you know, normally that comes down to the truth and reality. Why mess with a good thing, <laughs> right? So yeah, I'm gonna pass on the uh, Pepsi Pepsi, I love that they say Pepsi Cola too. Uh, I do love the design and everything of the bottle. I think that they've gone that retro look and that looks really cool. Like the designer who did the label looks great. Um, and that's what the whole campaign messaging too is like. It's about, you know, back in the 50s when you used to go and get, um, what are they called? Like spiders where you have the ice cream and then you put in either Coke or cream in soda and you get that flavor. Um, and it is achieving that, but... I think when you're a kid, you enjoy it. When you're an adult, it's just a bit too much. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll still keep drinking it. It's not going to go to waste. It's not going to get chucked out. But yeah, I would not buy another bottle. <laughs> but if you have tried it, let me know. Um, let me know what you think. Because I think a few people have said they've liked it. And a few people I've seen comment already say they don't like it. So yeah, let me know. Um, but I am going to have to also take out some money. So we're going to go to cash. Now I'm going to take out $200 from here and I'm going to just take out two 100s um, because I have done a few things towards the end of this week. Uh, since I was feeling better, I said I wanted to go to the movies. Um, I saw 
the the exorcist which i know i did take out money for in the past but i think i just spent that on something else and i can't remember what um so i need to take out some money for that i also purchased an udi um they were doing a 40 dollar udi sale and i have one and i absolutely love it do i need an udi right now no but a 40 dollar udi you can't pass up on they're normally like around 80 to 100 dollars and so yeah i purchased one of them um and then just a few little extra things like i think i've taken had some takeaway a little bit extra because of me being unwell so i'm just going to take out 200 dollars, and that clears what's outstanding in my card so okay so that's that so we're going to go in to put in the fifth and minus 200 and that's 1020 it should be let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty one thousand and twenty perfect but yeah that the movie the exorcist that we went and saw um it was not bad like it's not the classic and if you've seen the classic even though the classic can be a little bit funny in terms of effects and stuff but you know for the time period um it, you know it was a classic and it was something so different you had people running out of the cinema apparently you know so um but this i like this because it paid homage to a few things like uh, i'm not going to spoil it but there was a few guest appearances there was also just a few lines a few the way it was edited was very much like the original that that quick quick editing loud bang like i just i enjoyed it i did um and it was different i liked it so and I, i'm a fan of horror so if you're a fan of horror you would enjoy it uh then we are also going to take out some money from head to toe i had to purchase some new skincare creams so i have to take out a hundred i'm also contemplating just taking out a hundred dollar note um so one two three fifty four four three 10 which will be what is left for 5 11 minus 100 for 10 yeah because i know i will need smaller notes in here i don't want just all hundreds because then if something came to 50 i wouldn't be able to break it but what I'll do is these hundreds won't be going back to the bank. I'll, you know, at the back of my savings binder, um, I have all those 50s in the completed. So I'll even use them there or something. I will do a little mini cash swap or something. Like hundreds are a bit hard to get. So I won't take them back to the bank, but I'll make sure I'm able to take this 300 back to the bank to cover the um, cost that I've been spending. And then lastly is head to toe, yeah, sorry, health. And that is because I went to the doctors for a post checkup. So 50 bucks will come out of that. So $350 is what is done and removed from my um, binders. And that's what will go to cover the bank. Um, but I just want to also mention a show that I watched this week, which was awesome. Uh, it's called The Lovers. Um, and it's over on Prime. I think oh, if it's not, I'll put it where it, I, I watched it. Um, but it's a really cool show. It's about, it's an English show. And I think there was like about six episodes and it's about this woman who has just given up on life, doesn't care, you know, is borderline mental health, needed help, you know, and then she stumbles across randomly and meets this guy who is the opposite, who is so self-centered, very kind of popular and famous because he's got like a blog channel or something like that. And they meet and it's a hilarious show because one just doesn't care and one cares too much and the way that they just work and it's awesome really really great show it's a romantic comedy so if you want to give that a go it is quite funny um but other than that uh yeah that is it and i hope wherever you are you're having a happy sunday uh take care and let me know what you think about the pepsi drink if you have tried that yourself uh and i'll see you tomorrow on my weekly uh weekly cash stuffing for week one of november so that's exciting so take care and i'll see you then bye for now bye <laughs>